Hello everybody and welcome back to Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door. So I just finished recovering, uh, well recreating a save file up to the point right before where it uh, crashed. Slight differences, um, currently only level 9 as opposed to level 10. This amounts to about this amounts to a three batch power difference. And have I think two new badges, Jumpman and Power Plus. I do not believe we had those previously. The Jumpman was purchased from the um, strange guy with the changing stock in the middle of Rogueport, and the Power Plus was purchased from the Starpiece Trader in the sewers. But yeah. Um, now let's head straight in here and hope nothing explodes this time. completely empty stadium area nothing hidden back there gotta say you know, are a couple of slack jawed idiots sniffing around my business now that you know my big secret I'm afraid you're gonna have to take a little old dirt nap Hey, there's our star. Look, Mario, up there, the real crystal star. Yuck, 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 yuck. How do you like my machine? Pretty dang nice, huh? Yep, I've been sucking power from fighters with this baby. Slurp. John Tootin', and you know why? Because it keeps my bod forever young, son. Using a crystal star to look good? You're so totally vain. You're gonna pay for that. Oh, just shut your traps now. I'll use my crystal star however I dang please. Check this out. Alright. Muscle up. Macho Grubba! Oh, Grubba got huge. Oi! Gonna smush you guys into guacamole and snack on your energy too. Fight time! Macho! A oh, powerhouse now, you pestering little pieces of prairie piffle. So long as I have this here machine, my bot will be rough, tough, and ultra buff. Okay, Mario, I've had just about enough of this guy's yapping. Let's take him down. Well, let's start with... Good old reliable tattle. That's Macho Grubba. He's Grubba all souped up on Crystal Star Power. 60 health, 4 attack, and no defense. His attack pattern is simple. First, he increases the number of times he can attack, and he powers himself up with all sorts of wild power up moves. So it's pretty important to pay close attention to how he's powered himself up. The wildest thing about this muscle is that he was just regular old Grubba a moment ago. Guess the Crystal Stars really are powerful. Let's see if I can get power bounce timing right for once. Yeah, not not super great.
more chances to attack are now available. Oh, wonderful. Okay, that time was better. Oh yeah, keep it spicy. You know, I love a good tussle, Gonzalez. Keep on scrapping, son. Of course, it ain't gonna do you much good in the end. Uh, attack up. Ow. only six flower points, but it's fine. That's two whole power bounces. I mean, if they're that good, um, you're gonna need a lot more than six flower points. Not too shabby, Gonzalez. You got showmanship, and that's gold in this biz. But this here battle's just getting started. Time I showed you some real moves. Back in the day, I had so many rump kicking moves, they had to make some illegal. Aren't you big enough already? Oof. Seven damage punch, follow through. Just go ahead and use that right now. inconvenient. I'd prefer that of not gone to you. It's fine, I suppose. No, nope, it's fine. We're playing support. I'm playing support, I don't know. Finished yet, Gonzalez. Ain't over till it's over. That's the way it goes in combat sports, son. And let me tell you something. Fortune's gonna smile on me in the end, punk. You, sir, this is what a hammer looks like. Yeah. I think we also have more money than last time. No, how'd this happen? 
How could a perfect bod like mine loose to such a schlub? Oh, great, Gonzalez. Great fight there, son. Great fight. Ugh. Mr. Champion. No, I mean, Mario. Please allow me to offer my earnest thanks for defeating that foul grubba. Jolene! I really have to apologize. I'm so sorry that I had to get you involved. But you must understand, I had to learn the truth about this arena by any means. Let me tell you everything. I had a little brother once, by the name of Mush. He'd have done anything for me. Our family was always poor, so he became a fighter here to support all of us. He suddenly went missing one day. The family was inconsolable. I suspected foul play, so I got hired on as the manager and investigated in secret. As I looked for clues about my brother, I accidentally saw Mr. Grobo transform. Seeing what I was up against, I almost gave up hope. And then you appeared. So I decided to secretly guide you. So the mysterious ex who was sending those emails... <clears throat> Correct. It was me. Once I saw you fight, I knew you were the only one who could challenge Grobo. No, sir. No, not sir. Grubba. One answers right now. What did you do with my precious little brother? You know exactly what I'm talking about. The first champion, Prince Mush. Ugh, Prince Mush. He, he discovered the secret of my power second machine. I had him ugh, disappear. Any which way you look at it, ugh, he ain't around these parts no more. No. I suspected as much. Oh, poor sweet mush. You know, she came off all uppity, but she was just a girl who loved her brother. Oh, Mario, check it out, the crystal star. That's her brother because of the uh, family banana hair. Whoa, is this my back in the glitz pit? Mush! Oh, is that really you, sis? What are you doing here? I, I was, I was just... Hey there, Mush. It's okay. It's all over, finally. Wow, the crystal star can do that. Now, Mario, the crystal star is yours. Oh, for real? We can just take it? It's better that you have it, so that nothing like this will ever happen again. Well, you heard her, Mario. Grab it. Yeah, you got a crystal star. But now I have four star power, and Mario learned special move power left. That's... that one's good. Let's fill... See me underside was a dark, dangerous place seething with conspiracy. With the help of the lovely Miss Jolene, Mario revealed Grubba's true identity, and acquired the third crystal star by defeating the monstrous Macho Grubba. Grubba had used the power of the crystal star to run his power draining machine, but other hidden powers might these strange and mystical items possess. Them. 
Tell me, what good are you? You still haven't taken care of that Mario character. Well, yes, sorry, but only because he's tougher than we thought at first. You do understand that we x knots must open the Thousand Year Door first, do you not? <laughs> well, rest assured that I will definitely nail him next time. We have prepared a weapon that will bring him to a quick and certain end. I trust your words, so I rapidly lose my patience. Just leave it to us, sire. <laughs> What's away, my lovelies? Marilyn, Vivian. Rukko. No doubt about it, I'm officially bored. Those awful X things haven't been back to ask about the map. Maybe they don't care about it anymore. Oh my, that must be tech again. Hello, Princess Peach. You always call me in without warning, Tech. What is it this time? I apologize. I would like you to go to where Sir Grotus is and ask him something. What? What do you mean, go ask? I recently obtained specific information that brought an issue to my attention. You are the main computer here, right? Why is there anything you don't know? I am unable to know things that are not entered in my CPU or otherwise recorded. That is why I want to know what Sir Grotus is thinking about this issue. But even if I try to go see him, they'll catch me and send me back to the room. That is true, but you, you will find a soldier's room one floor up. Take the elevator. Once there, please obtain a soldier's uniform and change into it, avoiding detection. You will go see Sir Grotus looking like a soldier. You mean I'll be disguised? I imagine you won't take no for an answer, will you? You imagine correctly. Alright, fine, I guess. Well, so what do you want me to go ask Rotus? I want you to ask... Something. A question. Okay. Why in the world would Tech want me to go ask about that? He sure is a weird computer. Oh, is this the elevator he wanted me to go in? Now, Tex had one floor up, but that was clearly another floor that we just passed on the way. Please wait just a moment. There is currently a soldier in the vicinity. Huh? Now, Princess Peach, after leaving the elevator, head to the right. It is the room nearby with the green lamp. The right, you say. It's over here. Wrong door. Back the same. Please change here, quickly. The soldier's uniform should be in a locker. Uh, 
guessing lock of three. Damn, I'm good. Uh, there's nothing in any of the other lockers. Hmm. Oh, this is the uniform? Am I supposed to wear this ugly thing? Yes, that is correct. Oh, oof. I don't know about this, it's awfully tight. And it kind of smells a bit. Phew. Who knows how, but I got into it. I can barely breathe, though. I bet I look perfect. Hey, Slacker. What part of do not leave your post don't you understand, huh? Hmm? What? Come again? Oh, you're on your break? Well, fine. Carry on. Huh? Sniff, snort, sniff. You smell that, dude? What a weird smell. You smell nice. But it's just wrong, dude. What? What is it? If you have nothing to say, then don't speak to me. I'm busy, see? I even got a busy x not clipboard here. And it says, do not disturb. Excuse me, Sir Grotus? Yes, what is it? Speak. Er, well, it's about Princess Peach. What do you plan to do with her going forward? Hmm? Something is wrong with your voice, x not Perhaps I have a throat lost. No? Well, never mind. Oh, about Princess Peach? I have no interest in what that woman has to say. Just keep her locked in the room. Don't ever, ever treat her roughly, you understand? Tell the others as well. But, uh, why, why in the world are we keeping her here, then? That's none of your business. Don't forget your place, you impudent worm. Concentrate on getting the crystal stars. That's all I require of you. We Exonauts need the legendary treasure to conquer the world. Don't forget it. Conquer the world? Legendary treasure? What are you blathering about now? Hmm? Something is odd about you. N no, nothing odd. Uh, so Roger or whatever, please excuse me. Oh, that was unnerving. All that stuff about conquering the world, talk about creepy. Wonder if that has anything to do with collecting those crystal stars. Off with this thing. Ooh, good old pink dress, my favorite. Why would I ever wear anything different? I'd better get back quickly. Tech, you terrible machine. So your goal is to conquer the world, is it? Of course. After all, I was built for that purpose. Conquering the world. How could you? Princess Peach, allow me to ask you something. Do you like the world you live in? There are many problems in the world. Many sorrows. Do you like such a world? Of course I do. Nobody likes everything about the world, but I love the good parts. There are many sorrows, sure. But there is also joy. Is that so? Tell me, will the crystal stars help you conquer the world? And what's this treasure? 
I'm afraid I cannot answer. Answering those questions is prohibited by Sir Curtis. Well, but... Oh, never mind. I must at least inform Mario about this awful plan for world domination. Tech, let me use your communicator. I suppose I can allow that. Please use the communicator. Send it this instant. The message has been sent. Well then, Princess Peach, you have had a busy day. Go back to the room, please. Oh, okay. Good night, Princess Peach. Th that thing's humongous. Everybody hide now, save yourselves. Would have thought that fool Mario would be in Glitzville of all places. Did you say something, your rudeness? Uh, no, nothing at all, as far as you know. Hey, did you see those little bite-sized shrimps? What were those things? Those are some punies. One of them should know about the crystal star. They fear you, so they're all hiding. Let's find them all and force them to tell us about the crystal star. Eek, flee! You're scary, Mr. Giant Bad Breath Monster. Don't worry, Petunia, your big brother is here. We'll, we'll get through this. Y y yikes, this guy is big and bad. He's large and in charge. Behind any of these posts. Gone. You're one of them, aren't you? One of the evildoers. You want our crystal star. Ah, see, I knew it. This ugly thing knows what the crystal star is. Tell us. How rude. Ugly thing? How dare you, you wretched crone? I am the great puny elder. Eep, my heart. Don't startle me like that. I'm too old for this stuff. Ah, uh, you're both too old. Ha. <laughs> Um, um, yes, Lord Bowser? You look as if you're just dying to say something. Uh, nope, nothing. Let's move on, shall we? You, Elder Hag thing. Where's the Crystal Star? And don't try pulling rank again. Your answer, not your age, will determine your fate. Hmm, Hag thing? Honestly, in any case, you're too late. The Crystal Star is gone. Uh, what? That's right, you rude thing. We gave it to a mustachioed man named Mardio. He said he was collecting the crystal stars to rescue some princess. What did he call her? Princess Pinch? Nope, he was off to save that lucky lass. It's Mario, not Mardio, and it's not Princess Pinch if her name is Princess Peach. But your senality is beside the point. The princess and the crystal stars must be connected. Mario's trying to get it all. Treasures, princesses, does his greed never end? That jackal. Both Princess Peach and the Crystal Stars belong to me. To me! I find him, I'm going to finish him off once and for all. I swear it. So now you must leave. I understand. If you must, you must. We won't delay you. If you succeed in finding the rest of the Crystal Stars, good luck. Um, Gonzales, I want to tell you, Rock Hawk ain't gonna fight dirty anymore. I'm gonna hit the weights, take some vitamins, and win the title fair and square. And I'm never ever gonna lose again. Remember, on Life Rock, she rock back. Listen, Chimani, thanks for everything, man. You're the nicest dude I've ever met, and if you ever need it, I've got your back. Me, I think I'm gonna chill here and improve my skills. King K is back, baby. 
It's all thanks to you. You're my boy, Mario. Now the grub is out of the picture, I'm going to take over running the Glitz Pit. If you ever decide to return to the ring, just come back. I'll keep your spot open. You have tons of fans, and they'd absolutely love it if you made a comeback. Anyway, think it over, okay? And travel safe. Yes, we have three crystal stars now. We're rolling. Let's head back to Rogue Park, Mario. Save before anything explodes. Next cheap blimp is bound for the town of Rogue Park. Would you like to board? Yes. Off we go. Everything looks in order with your tickets. Please watch your step as you board. So we're back. We need to. Uh, oh, well, we need to open our email. After that, we need to go down into the sewers again. Through the door. Dearest Mario, I have uncovered something terrible. These things, the X Nauts, they're planning to take control of the world. It's to that end that they're seeking the crystal stars and trying to claim a legendary treasure. I still don't know what that treasure is, but you must hurry and gather the crystal stars. I will gather what information I can. Princess Peach. What? They want to rule the world? That does not sound like a friendly plan. Oh, hey. Ah, you know. Talk to Luigi later. This guy is the guy that had the uh, jump man badge. I feel like this is. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I had gotten this badge from this guy as well. I'll grab that again now. This was... Alright, the shortcut pipe. No, that's fine. I'm gonna go this way. I have... No, I do not have enough shine sprites yet. Shortcut now. 
Yeah, instead of having to go all the way over there and activate the airplane panel. Straight there. Are we heading next? Hmm. Creation of a crystal star has been recorded on your magical map. There's the fourth crystal star. We're gonna have to show Professor Frankly again. It's okay, we have to let him know what Princess Peach wrote in her email anyway. Oh yeah. What? <laughs> Group that kidnapped Princess Peach is bent on total world conquest? Sure sounds like it. That must be why they need the legendary treasure, huh? Hmm, this doesn't bode well. The situation has gotten far more serious than I thought. Let me bring you up to speed. I've been researching just what this treasure could be. One book I came across held... One book I came across held to what I thought was a preposterous theory. This book claimed that the treasure was, in actuality, the Great Cataclysm very cataclysm that, a thousand years ago, sank that town underground. Wait a sec, so they want to use that cataclysm's power to take over the world? Can't say for sure what they will do or why, but we must consider the possibility. Now that things have come to this, we mustn't let them near the legendary treasure. That's all that matters, because if they do get it, then once again this town, you now the entire world, could be destroyed. Oh my gosh, Professor, then we gotta get the next crystal star right away. Hmm, according to the map, it appears the next crystal star is in Twilight Town. Twilight Town? Tell you the truth, I don't know much about the place myself, only rumors. I have heard that, as the name implies, it's perpetually dim and eerie there. Wait just a moment. Ah, there appears to be a pipe to Twilight Town somewhere here in Roadport. I do, do believe it's somewhere underneath the west part of town. Yes, definitely. If you get stuck for any reason, just come back and see me, okay? Beneath the west part of town? Gotcha. We're on it. Thanks, Professor. Ooh, alright, Mario. Let's do it. Dear Mario and Koops, I hope you two are doing okay. I have to admit, with Koops gone, I haven't been doing very well. I get lonely, and I go into Koops' house, and I smell that Koops smell. I guess it's your clone or whatever, but it makes me so sad. Lately, the place is starting to smell more like your dad, Koopley. has his own smell, and it's weird. I think maybe it's the smell of Hooktail's gut. It's disgusting. Now I gross myself out. Oh, and since he's going to be my dad too someday, I'd better get used to that smell, huh? Oh, what am I writing? I'm so embarrassed. But I'm sending this anyway, see he love Koopy Koo. Cute. That one. RDM issue two. It settles in. Uh look, a bunch of words. I don't feel like reading a newsletter.
west side of town and the way we couldn't go before. Right here. And you know what? That's perfect. We can upgrade Yoshi. Nope. Uh, where does this go? This goes back here. Piece, but it's not where, what we're looking for. Oh, this is clearly what we're looking for. To Twilight Town. I projected you. What is you lousy pipe? You gotta tell the professor about this. by a pipe. Uh, how do we get back? Oh, shoot. Oh, that, uh, that sucked. Star point. I say that, but that's almost level up. Ah, I did not get my hammer out. Oops. Our shell. Still only one. Come on. Uh, so one of these leads out, right? So this one? Yeah, okay. We're actually going to call the episode here. We'll leave talking to Professor Frankly to the start of the next episode. Hope everybody enjoyed this episode, and I hope everybody's glad to see the uh, series having been recovered. If you did enjoy the episode, don't forget to leave a like on the video, leave a comment down below, and subscribe for more Thousand Year Door. And until next time, take care.